And welcome back. This is another episode of Business Basics. You're on the mic with Dr. H, the Global Mentor Coach. As you know, this podcast is dedicated to all things business for those of you who are in business, um, those of you who are thinking about starting a business. It's here to help you um, start and grow your business business. Uh, more importantly, one of the things that we try to make sure you do is um, ensure your, uh, your business is a visual representation of your brand, its brand, and your standards. So listen, I'm going to jump right into this episode here. I think you're going to love it because I love what Jeff Bezos is doing. Uh, we're talking about Amazon giving employees $10,000 to start their own delivery businesses. This is genius idea. Now, aside from the man's personal life, I don't really care for him, but business acumen, the man is spot on. You cannot argue with it. Spot on genius. Why? What does this do? Man, first off the bat, it's creating jobs, it's, it's giving back into the community, and it's cutting costs, increasing profits, and that's what business is about. You have to like it, but let's get into it. Um, Amazon, as you know, is expanding its delivery services. Um, they've got warehouses and all of these different things everywhere. And so as an expansion of its delivery service partner program, Amazon is providing employees with up to $10,000 to start their own delivery businesses. I'm telling you, come on. I mean, come on. Um, so new delivery business owners will have access to Amazon branded vans customized for delivery. Now, I agree with this. The one thing I will say um, they need to do is get uniforms, get something on them. When I say uniforms, not Amazon, but they need to encourage these people to wear Amazon type. I don't care if it's khaki, uh, you know, some type of shirt or something, because there wasn't a recent incident um, with one of these people um, with the rapper Ice T. He almost shot one of them because the guy was literally kind of lurking he was kind of creepy um delivering a package late at night around his home and so um if you've never seen the amazon delivery trucks they are pretty dark um they're this really dark midnight blue navy blue type color so you really only see that kind of turquoise stripe and prime on it but at night and depending on where that truck was was parked he probably didn't see that and so he was like man by the time i realized that that's who it was I, you know he was like y'all need to do something about that and that is very true branding is important it's you, you can't just stop at the truck i see it all the time with deliveries here i see the truck but when the people get out they don't have anything amazon on nothing that lets you know that they are even related to the company um or anything yes they have their own company but still you should have something representing the brand because you are an amazon you are now a consultant you are now a um you know a, um oh my goodness you, you're a vendor you know what i mean for for our amazon and so you've got to make sure that you properly represent and so they're doing this um they did a press release on um let's see this was money this article came out on the 13th so um this was just a few this was maybe just about two weeks ago the delivery service partner program this is happening here in the united states spain and the uk it's a new incentive um it, this is uh, again it's great um this is going to help them um, really expand their territory. I mean, Amazon is really going there. Um, look at what they're doing. The incentive will provide employees with $10,000 to fund the startup and three months of the employee's salary so they could more easily get their package delivery companies off the ground. Come on. $10,000 and three months of salary? Like, if you can't make it, you don't want to make it. Like, you are not trying. This is amazing stuff. I'm telling you, this is amazing stuff. They're still working out the kinks, as we can see, of course, as I just told you with the incident with IC, and that just happened, like, literally a couple days ago because uh, he posted it on uh, a tweet. He tweeted about it. Um, but listen, 
It's amazing. Dave Clark, Senior Vice President of Amazon's Worldwide Operations, said that the company received overwhelming interest from tens of thousands of people who applied to the new program, including current employees. Um, and so it sounds like this is a great program. Again, this the program is the delivery service partner program. So you don't just have to be an employee, but it's the employees that are getting the $10,000. But listen, this is a great opportunity. If you're looking for a business opportunity and you feel like, you know, hey, this is up my alley, especially listen, if you're somebody who work, who have worked for the post office, FedEx, UPS, DHL, anybody like that, come on, man. All you need is a, listen, a truck. A truck. It's got to be a delivery truck, of course, something like that. But come on. Come on, this isn't rocket science. I promise it's not. Come on, you can set your out. Come on. Come on. This is just, it's too easy. It's so easy. It's too easy. Okay. Seriously. So easy. But anyway, um, the reason that they have this program, the delivery service program, is because they want to speed up their delivery times. And so really by having more, you know, of these delivery service companies, they can they can really um, cover more territory in a short, short amount of time. Um, so again, by the employees leaving their Amazon jobs to start their own business, payroll is going down, thus payroll taxes are going down. Um, uh, I, you don't have to pay all the benefits. Let's really get into this because I'm telling you, this is genius stuff, okay? Um, in the press release, it says an employee will leave their role at Amazon to build their business. Keyword here, build. Build their business knowing they will have consistent delivery volume from Amazon. That's a guarantee. Come on. Consistent delivery volume? So it... Fail proof because it's not like you got to go out there and try to get I'm not getting enough packages. Are you kidding me? The whole point, the whole point. Look at how many people are ordering Amazon all the time. Come on, consistent delivery volume from Amazon, access to the company's sophisticated delivery technology, hands on training, and discounts on a suite of assets and services, including Amazon branded vans, customized for delivery, branded uniforms. There we go, and comprehensive insurance. So they've got uniforms. I don't know what that dude was do, well, doing. Maybe his uniform hadn't come in when he went to Ice T's house, but he almost got shot. But anyway, branded uniforms and comprehensive insurance. Do you all understand how huge that is? They're out comprehensive insurance. You're getting discounts on comprehensive insurance because you have to have that. That's not an option. You have to have that because you're it's. You're covering your vehicle and everything in the vehicle. Huge. So the money that Amazon is investing in their employees who want to start their own business, um, that's a drop in the bucket for what it's going to do. Because if they work this right, now guess what? That employee now becomes an employer. Because eventually they'll get so big that they'll have to hire people to help them do the deliveries. Economic development in your community. That's all I'm saying. It's genius. Um, so it again, it's it's a, it, the incentive is a, a way for associates with an appetite for opportunities to own their own businesses. So if you want to start your own business, hey, go ahead. Um, they're giving them the. At, you're getting hands-on training. So don't just not throwing them to the wolves and say, here, start your business, this is it. They actually have training. Hands-on training. Come on, man. So um, this program has actually been in effect since 2018. Um, since the program it uh, has launched, it has led to the creation of more than 200 new small businesses. Um, and so I, I think now with this new incentive, it's going to expand to beyond that. I, I, I swear that I promise it will, because this is just, it's just, again, it's too easy. It's right there. They're giving them everything that they need to set them up for success. Not failure, but success. Come on. Again, it really doesn't get any better than that. Um, 
and consistent delivery volume absolutely um i want to see something here uh because i'm telling you um let's see there's all kinds of stuff out here on amazon um some of the statistics are is uh, really interesting i don't know how i don't know this site here so but i i believe that it could be um here's something from forbes from last year and this is really interesting because um I'm, I'm seeing something here that says 95 million people have amazon prime memberships in the u.s i believe that um this is just amazon sold 100 million products on prime day 2018 nine in ten consumers check amazon for a product even if they have found it on another website i agree with that that's happening um there's reason and i mean reason that amazon can tout the type of guarantee that they're touting 70 percent of americans with incomes of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more who shop online have amazon prime memberships um, Amazon Prime International customers were growing at a 56% compound annual growth rate between 2016 and 2018. Um, and it, um, this is a Forbes article from 2018, mind you. So um, Amazon shipped more than 5 billion items in 2017 with Prime Worldwide. Do you think they can tout that guarantee that there's a consistent, consistent delivery volume? absolutely if they delivered more than five billion items in 2017 2017 with prime alone that's just prime everybody don't have prime that's just prime can you imagine what they do outside of prime by 2022 there will be 56 million amazon prime video subscribers subscribers in the u.s and 122 million worldwide Net sales at Amazon reached $177.9 billion in 2017, a 31% increase from $136 billion in 2016. Balling, okay? Balling. Amazon Prime, if you don't know, it's an annual membership program and includes unlimited free shipping of over 100 million items, access to unlimited instant streaming of thousands of movies and TV episodes, Alexa voice shopping, um, unlimited free access to books, Kindle books and content. Um, it also includes free same day delivery on select products, same day delivery. Listen, one of the things they said they wanted to do was get was what they wanted to speed up delivery times what are they trying same day delivery on select products i guarantee they're probably going to find a way to be able to do same day delivery on all their products but um that's going to be a stretch for right now because um they don't have uh, because there's, it's a marketplace um it's just kind of you don't know that it's set up just like kind of like ebay or etsy or anything like that or even uh, Walmart is getting into the game because they have different vendors. So it depends on if the vendor themselves is shipping it to you or if it's coming out of one of Am Amazon's warehouses. So that makes it makes a difference on how that works. But um, you know, find Amazon. Um, they're finding ways to find too. I guarantee you, they're probably going to change some things up, um, especially through this delivery <laughs> program. I guarantee you, they're going to find a way. So. Um, their revenue for online subscriptions was up 49% year over year, outpacing the 20% year over year ad revenue growth from its online store segment. I, I, I just, Amazon. Amazon. Fifth in 2008, this again the same article. 51% of US households will be Amazon Prime subscribers in 2018. Again, up 45% in 2017 with Prime subscriptions subscribers spending up to 4.6 times more than nine Prime customers. Again, touting that guarantee of consistent volume. Basically, it's fail proof. You can't fail at, a, at an Amazon delivery truck driver. 
being a business, being a vendor for Amazon as a driver, as a, as a delivery company for Amazon. You can't beat that. Look at that. Amazon Prime subscribers spent 4.6 times more than non-Prime customers. So just in Prime volume alone, that's guaranteed, but you still got non-Prime. I'm a non-Prime person, but hey, non-prime people shop too every now and then but guess what prime people 4.6 times more come on now on average the on average prime customers spent look almost $2,500 $2,486 over 12 months compared to $544 for non-prime Amazon customers. And this data is from Morgan Stanley because they've been crunching the numbers, baby. Listen, you can't beat there. You, you really can't beat that. Listen, you're talking about, we're talking about an estimated 90 million people paying Amazon Prime. Um, these, this is just in the US alone. These are statistics from customer intelligence research partners and Statista. Come on, um, some credible information here. You cannot beat this. 46% uh, of Amazon Prime subscribers buy something online using the benefits of their subscription at least once a week. Again, touting that guarantee. This is fail proof. This is a short thing. Not thing. This is a short thing, baby. Okay. Um, 13%, only 13% of non Prime Amazon shoppers make weekly purchases. 46%, 13%. But combined, look at that. That's still good volume. That's why they can guarantee you consistent volume, delivery volume. Why? Because they have that much business to do. And they're finding a way to cut their costs. Okay? Um, so I think I'm telling you, this is just... It's just, it's just crazy good. It's crazy good. On an international front, um, you know, Morgan Stanley estimates there will be 62 million U.S.-based Amazon Prime customers by the end of 2018, growing from an estimated 54 million in 2017. International Prime subscribers are projected to grow from 18 million to 45 million. It's huge growth. Huge, huge huge growth. Amazon Prime Video is the primary growth catalyst for Amazon to gain new customers in Japan, Germany, and the UK. Why? Amazon Prime membership jumped 16% in Japan in just three months following the launch of Prime Instant Video. Sure thing, people. Sure thing. Okay, so um, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, but I'm telling you, there's no sign of slowing down right now. Amazon Prime is growing at exponentially at double digit rates. It's just insane. Um, retail stores can hang it up. I'm sorry. Um, I just got another uh, article uh, yesterday or over the weekend about another store. I think it's Top Top Shop, Top something, whatever, um, getting ready to close their doors uh close stores hang it up amazon's killing everybody um amazon prime has 3.4 times the number of customers acquired um when they acquired whole foods That's just, that's insane to me, okay? That is crazy. They are actively reordering the food retailing landscape. Um, they really are, they're working on supply chain logistics and fulfillment operations. I'm telling you, again, consistent delivery, consistent delivery. It's, I'm telling you, it's just, man has a mind for business, uh, you know. Hey, um, Amazon is combining Prime now which is a one to two hour delivery and Whole Foods market local inventory to fuel and scale a profitable grocery delivery business. One to two hours. Remember they're trying to what? Speed up delivery time. So that's, it, it's critical. 
critical to their business. So having this this delivery program is is just it's 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 just crucial to where Amazon is going. This is how they're growing their business. Um, and so you just you just can't beat it. You really can't. Um, more than 300,000 third-party sellers started selling on Amazon in 2017. More than 140,000 third-party sellers surpassed $100,000 in annual sales on Amazon. Amazon Handmade expanded, offering customers more than, than 1 million handcrafted items across all 50 U.S. states and more than 60 countries. Is Amazon doing the thing? Absolutely. What am I saying? This is a sure thing. It's, it's, it's a sure thing. It really is. Um, I'm looking up the Amazon delivery program because, um, you know, we got to help y'all understand some things. Um, so Amazon logistics, because, you know, I uh, love this website, by the way, consistent branding. You see the same thing, um, this dark gray, midnight blue thing. The shirt is dark gray, but the, the trucks are like this midnight blue thing, but it's all still consistent with Amazon. She has a shirt on. I don't know, again, why that driver didn't. But anyway, um, the Amazon Advantage, low startup cost, start your business with as little as $10,000, and that is true, you know? Um, it's almost the same as a food truck. You can buy a food, you can kind of get a food truck business for about that much. Um, so, cause pretty much the logistics with the exception of a lot of the food side with the food side and permits and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same. You, you pretty much just need the truck and uniform and insurance, your license, your business license, and you're good to go. Um, and so logistics experience not required, not required, not required. Um, it's just you're using their system and they're going to teach it to you. Um, you're focusing on people, not sales. Amazon's packages keep your business growing so you can focus on building a great team and delivering without worrying about driving sales. They're doing the sales part. Remember, they're, the, the, I just gave you the numbers. You're gonna get consistent sales. It's gonna happen. The main thing is building your team. Now, how do you build your team? You gotta do the training too. Consistent, drive the brand. Can keep driving the brand, your core values, whatever you want those to be. Um, Amazon's gonna give you the support, delivery smiles. Um, just it's just so important. So um, this guy here in Aurora, Colorado, has a team size of 40 people. He started, he, he was driving for Amazon Flex when he learned about the opportunity to start his own delivery company. Um, in just five months, he had hired more than 40 employees. And it's encouraging to know that any driven individual can leverage the support from Amazon and the delivery service partner community to build a successful, thriving business. In five months, this guy grew his team to 40 employees. You think he's doing volume? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, for veterans, they're committing a million dollars towards funding startup costs for military veterans, offering $10,000 reimbursements for qualified candidates to build their own businesses. If you're a vet and you want to start your own business, Amazon's got your back. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. This is just, I don't know. It's just, it just, it's there. It's there. You just have to go for it for yourself. Dig in there and get into it for yourself. So um, again, Amazon's doing the thing, folks. With this delivery program, um, all I can say is, if you're looking for a business, you're thinking about a business, um, you're basically, it's just, I mean, Amazon's handing you a package. 
the branding it's all there just really are stepping into it this is no this i i have not found a better franchise model basically because that's really what it is franchise model um <laughs> that is this is just easy easy it's it's so easy it's ridiculous but building the business is about the service and so it's some things that you have to do for your team providing training and making sure things are consistent and on time and yeah you got to manage your people you got to manage your stuff but the volume and the opportunity is there what you gonna do with it so You've been on the mic with Dr. Race, the global mentor coach. It's been another episode of Business Basics talking about Amazon and, um, you know, their delivery program. And I think that uh, this delivery partner program is it. And, um, yeah, you're looking for an opportunity? Step into it. Thanks for listening to me. Um, if you like this podcast, make sure you keep sharing it, listening to it, share it with others, support it. Um, you know, I, I, it's just, I have fun talking about this stuff with you guys and helping you out. Um, if you have any testimonies of how this uh, podcast has helped your business, feel free to send it over to me at info at globalmentorcoach.com. If you have anything you would like me to cover, any topics, anything that I haven't touched on that you want me to uh, look into, send it over to me again at info at globalmentorcoach.com. Calm, and I am more than happy to help you. Listen, if you need a business coach, shoot on over to my website at globalmentorcoach.com and I'm more than happy to uh, connect with you. We can schedule your free 15-minute consultation and we can see how I can help you. And if I can't, maybe I have a colleague that can. That's what this is all about, helping you to grow your business. So, Again, thanks for tuning in with me, Dr. Race, the Global Mentor Coach. You've been on the mic, and this has been another episode of Business Basics. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to spread lots of love and light. Bye.